Hi, guys. <laughs> OK. So I want to start off with the fact that I am an artist. I've been one my entire life. I started dancing when I was three years old. I've been training classically in piano for about nine years. And I've been in choir for four years and counting. My life has almost completely revolved around the performing arts since before I can remember. Now, when you ask most people, they'll say that the arts are entertaining, maybe a fun way to fill time. And as such, the performing arts are viewed as more of a hobby rather than as something that can be a productive activity. What most people don't know is that there is a completely different angle on the arts. The benefits that they bring to the education and development to the minds and bodies of children. In writing about education for the Washington Post, Valerie Strauss is quoted as saying, the arts promote skills seen as important in academic and life success. Now this article was taken directly from a blog post written by Lisa Phillips, an arts and leadership educator that states that qualities such as creativity, confidence, perseverance, focus, and more are learned in young people that study the arts. So for example, thinking on your feet, thinking outside of the box, public speaking. These and many more are learned and reinforced by partaking extensively in the arts. Now, those of you that don't know me that well may be surprised to hear that I engage in a constant battle with stage fright. Behind the scenes, before I step out in front of my audience, I get nauseous and I start shaking and my mind begins to run through what seems like every possible thing that could go wrong. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one here who's ever felt that way before. Actually, just recently, I competed in a national ballroom dance sport competition in Orlando. Uh, I was an absolute wreck. We had taken a red-eye flight the night before. And I don't know about you guys, but I can never sleep on planes. And with the time difference, my body thought that I was dancing at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, so my nerves were frayed, and I was literally on the brink of a full-scale panic attack. I had never competed in anything on this scale before. There was this panel of stone-faced judges scribbling on those terrifying clipboards. There was music thumping in my eardrums. There were these neon, rhinestone-clad figures whirling past me in a blur. <laughs> it was overwhelming, to say the least. But seconds before I had to go on, my mother pulled me aside. She looked me straight in the eye and said, all right, it's time to shake it off. And then something incredible happened. From all of those years, all of that time that I'd, that I'd spent training, all of those performances that I'd done, my body knew what to do almost instinctively. I threw my shoulders back. I thrust my chin up and I plastered the hugest, cheesiest smile on my face. I felt absolutely ridiculous, and my heart was still pounding, and I could barely take a breath. But this transformation ended up helping me put forth my best possible performance and take fourth place in the nation. It was all that practice in front of an audience that led me to, to succeed. All of my experiences had built on each other, each teaching me something new about performing for people, until I was able to express myself to the best of my ability with just a simple phrase from my mother. And one day, I know that I'll be able to do my best without even that. Furthermore, there's something to be said about the perseverance of, performances, of performancers. The National Dance Education Organization stated that students who participated in dance displayed more persistence. 
Higher GPAs were found in dancers as compared to non-dancers, and students who participated in dance displayed more persistence and had higher grades than those involved in non-dance activities. Now, we all have limited amounts of energy and time, so I know that I have to work whenever I can. And I literally mean whenever I can. I often stay up to these ungodly hours of the night studying or finishing the copious amounts of homework that we receive. No offense to any teachers within hearing distance, but I know from the replies, from the quick replies to midnight texts, that I'm not the only student at this school who knows what that feels like. But not only have the arts provided an outlet for my frustration and my stress, they've also taught me not to give up after the first try. And what's more, in a national study, using over 25,000 middle and high school students, researchers from UCLA found students with a high level of arts involvement perform better on their SATs than students with a low level of arts involvement. And an evidence report by the College Board also states that dance, music, and the visual arts have a significant effect on the level of critical thinking displayed by high school and college students. So, taking those preschool ballet classes or joining the middle school band might actually give you a leg up when it comes to school. The performing arts don't just affect children academically, however. They're also proven to assist in physical and cognitive development. The College Board states that dance focuses on developing gross motor skills, including balance and coordination. And that making art a hands-on activity helps children with the learning process, especially since at a young age, children are whole body learners. So now, it's looking more and more like the arts might just be as important as the other core academic subjects, as called in the federal No Child Left Behind Act. This act has the arts sharing equal billing with subjects such as math, reading, and science, putting them on the same playing field. Do you guys understand how utterly mind-blowing that is? This shows the beginnings of a revolution to all those who turn their nose up at artists. Not only do the arts provide an outlet for the passion of young people, but they teach skills that aren't typically or easily taught in schools. We are the new generation. We are the inheritors of the world, and that makes us responsible for making a difference. So let's remix the education system to include a little more dancing, a little more music, a little more acting. and leave no child behind. Thank you.